Hey guys, so it's time to do the highly anticipated reveal video that I've been asked about multiple, multiple times. And the reason why I held off on it was because nothing was working properly and it was getting fixed. So I didn't want to show you guys a half working camper. So um, we have Jordan here for the first time. Hey guys. And yeah, so it was too early for a beer and clearly it is not. So we are actually currently in Traverse City and probably the nicest campground I have ever been a part of. Um, we have our fire pit back there. It actually like, it's not an incline, but it's a little step down. Um, our chairs, it actually came with my camper when I bought it. So I was like, mm, you know what, if these go bad or if they break or if they get, I don't know, ash holes or something on them, um, don't really care. I have a bunch more at home so we can just bring them. So we have the camper all set up and pretty for you. Um, it's not fully decorated in a way because I forgot pillows for the other bed. I'll show you in a second with that one but it gives you a general idea of what we've done with it. So I put a little command hook out here, so you can see it, and now we have a wreath. I actually made that wreath too, and it used to be on my front door, but then my mom bought me one from Ikea, and I decided, you know what, we're gonna put that on the camper. And does it not add a lot of effect to the camper? It makes it look so homey, so homey. Um, we have our flagpole. I don't think I've shown that yet because we had it at Faster Horses, but I did not do a video at Faster Horses, so. It's a flagpole and it has an American flag and then we got asked what the other one was right there and that's a Michigan State American flag as well. So we'll take a little tour through here. So we'll start with the bed. This is the bed we've been sleeping on. Um, we have our cool little, you know, banner right there. That's from Amazon. I can post everything where I got it from. Some of the stuff I won't be able to because it's like home goods and stuff, you know, if you guys know anything about home goods, how home goods works. So the bedding is like my original bedding from my actual bed. So I actually bought a matching one for the other king size. The pillows from Home Goods. Um, all this, the sheets are from Target. Like I said, the banners from Amazon. And then we also have our little hookups here. Um, these came with the camper. All the electric, like electricity works, which is amazing. These are my lovely curtains that are, I think I need to re-glue them that are starting to kind of come apart, but they're holding up, which is good. Tied down with some ribbon. Um, the other thing, remember, that wasn't working last time and was leaking? None of the water leaks. It's so exciting. So we went and picked up some really cool and nice smelling. This is our Mrs. Meyers Clean Day stuff. This we just put on last night. My favorite festival to go to every year based upon that quote. And this is where we strain all the dishes and stuff like that. Um, let me tell you something about these Instacrates. Oh my gosh. Perfect for camping amazing because they just fold right back down and they go flat and so if you eat all your food for some reason you can just fold them flat and throw them back in the truck so um i just wanted to do a little shout out to the person who told me to use velcro industrial strength velcro strips to put on these because i did these all last night and they're just so much more durable same thing here put this on last night our fun little zach brown quote um we're hoping and thinking that it's gonna clear when we push it down because this actually goes down and turns into um like a screen door so should be fine we'll find out later you can see jordan out here <laughs> more curtains and then this is probably the best area of the whole entire place found these at home goods we walked right past them what in like an end cap and i was like i have to have I have to have these placemats. So we got those. That's actually Walmart. These were refinished by a woman who did them for 300 bucks, all, all of the cushions, which was just amazing. I made that one myself. The bottom's not prettily, prettily hemmed, so I'm not gonna show you that. My favorite flag in the whole entire place. And then this thing is super cool. So originally we were gonna try and plug it into here and kind of like solder some stuff together, but then Jordan's like, wait, what the heck? Why don't we just put it through here? So, we did, and it plugs in over here. Like I said, the electric's all working, which is awesome. And we can just turn it on and off. So I had that made. I can post who made that too. It's through Etsy, and it's actually a guy who's in Canton. Um, and he did a really good job with it. It's all, it's an Edison bulb. I don't think you guys will be able to see that, but it's an Edison bulb. And I bought the um, license plates for it. So the eating area. The eating area is probably the coolest area in this whole entire place, to be honest. So then we have also refinished here. I don't know where all this black stuff came from. Nothing was touching any sort of tracks or anything. They're all over my cushions. It's a camper as Jordan constantly reminds me, it's just a camper and things are gonna get dirty, right? So rugs, awesome, super cheap actually from Walmart. 
Um, and then the other bed, same thing as the other side. Like I said, I didn't bring any of the pillows for it, but it would be the same setup, different front pillow, but also another one that looks like the um, little like bullhead skull too. So I also have over here, speaker, light, Jordan got me this light. I was trying not to pineapple the camper and somehow I still ended up pineappling the camper because we know my love for pineapples. I mean, they're on these too. So, and we have our cooler, everything too. And the guy, when he sold me the camper, a lot of the stuff that's in here, like that's like a canteen, like fuel light. Um, I think there was a first aid kit in here at one point. It's not in here anymore. And then like, there was so much, like so many pots and pans, which is what all that is. Um, and then this is all storage. We have so many paper towels because we actually flipped this place on accident. And then I know the big question was with the, um, the vinyl adhesives, like stickers on the side, how it's going to hold up with humidity. And someone's like, oh, do you guys have a lot of humidity where you live? Yes, I do. I live in Michigan and it gets very humid up here. And so far, so good with this, honestly. The only thing I've noticed is down here, this one needs to be replaced anyway, because this microwave that we have never used, I set it down and it scraped up the side of it. Um, down by the cord around here, it is starting to bubble. And I think it's just from, you know, it looks like it's just pushing up on it for some reason. So that's gonna be replaced anyway. I'm not really too worried about it, but otherwise like it's held up incredibly well. And I will show you guys the outside and our hookups because nothing worked before, but now it all works. So I'll show you guys, like I said, there's the fridge. Oh, this thing's awesome too. I'll show you this. So it's one of those over the cabinet um, towel holders and it just goes over and then you just throw it in the cabinet when you're done. You have a towel out front. So that's pretty neat. These are fun little soft clothes, garbage cans. These are $19.99 for two of them from Costco. Um, we're gonna go up front with the Colorado. That's another story for another day. Um, we have our gas hookups up here. Originally it was a one propane tank. The guy didn't know when he sold it to me where the thing was to hold it down. Like if you see up here, it has these. Those are like for the campers. They have like little straps that go around it. He didn't know where that was, but I went on Amazon and I found a two propane tank holder. Um, I was told that was probably better because you don't want to run out of one and then not have another one. And Jordan kicked butt over there and somehow got it all to stay and fit, even though it was like, hey, it's not going to fit, but we're going to make it fit, right? So now it actually does fit. And we'll go over here too. This is the shower. It looks like a little spray from like if you were doing dishes inside of an actual normal size house not a camper we tried it at faster horses it leaks we're not going to worry about that right now because the campground we're staying at right now anyway has showers um so we don't have to worry about that that's something for probably before we winterize it and we take it back to the same place which let me tell you the place that we took it to did such an amazing job and it was like i don't want to say it was cheap but it was cheap way cheap yeah, so um, this place is cool too. They, if we had a TV, this is cable. Hopefully you guys can still hear me because we're on a main road. Um, and then we have our water hookup here that goes to the spigot, which doesn't leak anymore. Good stuff. And then the extension cord is because the air conditioning. Oh, I didn't even point that out inside, but there's AC in there, if you were wondering. Um, it has its own hookup that doesn't go through the camper. And so we brought an extension cord put it through the back here and then it plugs in there's another outlet over here so the campground has the 50 amp the 30 amp and then some normal just three prong outlets with some breakers as well so pretty nifty little setup i mean i think it turned out pretty good i think we killed it yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the little reveal video as i said not everything is set up but it's about as close as it's probably going to get this summer at least. And then we have some winter projects. I think the next big project, and I know it kills me every time I say this, is we're going to try and make the outside actually look presentable. Because right now it's just stickers peeling off and I don't even know. The back even needs to be power washed. I mean, it's just dirty and gross. So um, that's going to be probably a winter project for now. Everything works. Uh, propane is the next thing to test, which we haven't done yet. He doesn't want to blow it up. Um, I don't think it's going to, but he's just being dramatic about it. <laughs> so that's what we have going on next. And then, um, but for now we have this trip planned, probably one more, this is uh, August, probably one more in September. And then 
heading up to Pictured Rocks and the UP in October. Go see some fall colors. So, and then we want to rise it and start again next year. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, or subscribe below. And then we'll see you guys with the next one.